podcasting from Flushing Meadows Corona Park. This is the Brooklyn Baritone Podcast. Hey everyone, thank you for joining me. As usual, it is the morning when I'm recording these productions, but whenever you choose to listen to me or look at me, morning time, afternoon, evening, nighttime, late at night, I'm not judging anything. Whenever you choose to, I appreciate the support, the likes, looks, listens, and I, of course, would appreciate you hitting that subscribe and notification bell on my YouTube channel, Brooklyn Baritone. But do that if you like, no pressure. I know I talked about the importance of breathing in a past podcast, but I had other subjects and topics that I was going to talk about today, but for whatever reason, I was moved to talk about this breathing again, very, very short. Um, I was talking to someone who was pretty much flustered with something, and I just talked them out of it, talked them down, said, you don't want to be the one obstacle that gets in your own way. I understand you could get frustrated with certain things, but you know what? What you need to do is breathe. So do you know what the whole function of breathing is? They're like, what is it? To keep us alive? Yes. But then the whole act of breathing is getting that good oxygen in, of course, when you know the whole process of air going into your nose, going through your lungs, and then the blood, the red blood cells does, does their job, takes the oxygen, and sends it to every compartment of our bodies. But then just as important sometimes it could be even more important sometimes is that it takes the waste matter from all of those organs in the form of carbon dioxide packs it into the red blood cells the red blood cells delivers it to the lungs and then we exhale so that means when we exhale we get rid of the bad stuff so just as important as it is to breathe in and get the good stuff in we have to let out the bad stuff let our bodies do what it has to do And we can't even really get to the point of appreciating the simplest things in life. There's no possible way that we can actually live proper life to the fullest. We could understand the smallest things. Because I like looking at really very, very simple things. I am very entertained by the little finches that run around. Um, They're usually like three at a time, moving around in the dirt, dusting themselves off and stuff like that. But overall... If we can't even take the chance, take the, give ourselves the chance to just enjoy the smallest, simple things, we're not going to be able to enjoy anything else, honestly. That's why so many people out here paper chasing. So many people out here stressed and running after things that we don't need to run after, to be honest. You know? We have our systems in place. We have our laws in place. And to be honest, this is why lawyers make so much money. Because one, people can't behave themselves the way they're supposed to so we have to put laws in place and ordinances in place to keep people in check so now the laws become so burdensome now we have to sometimes if we're in a certain situation we have to hire someone who spends their time and life and energy studying the many different probably thousands hundreds of thousands tens of thousands millions of laws that are out there criminal law property law corporate law, civil matters law, all types of law because we have all these laws in place and systems in place because people can't get it right. People don't know how to look at the simplest things in life and just understand and appreciate it and then grow off of that. See, of course, I'm going to take it back to the spiritual thing. You know, Yeshua and Elohim, they have simple laws. It doesn't seem simple to us because one, people have done a smash bang up job in distorting what the father wanted for us and adding extra things and requirements that are not necessary and then two we just like to go off our own desires this is why we have a bunch of weird old laws that are still in place for a reason i could understand why some laws were put in place and then we have laws that get changed on a regular that we may not know about because it's changed because people decide to always change but when we get down to the simple nitty-gritty of life go outside I've said it in many podcasts before in the past. Go outside and enjoy the fresh air. Do your body a favor and start cutting out a lot of the bad things that you're eating. Do yourself a favor and take the time to breathe. This is why we have a lot of people who practice breathing exercises. When we take the chance, the time to breathe, we give up 
our minds and our bodies a chance to refocus. Yeah, we breathe on the regular involuntarily, thankfully, because a lot of us probably wouldn't be alive if we couldn't do, if we did it voluntarily. But if you could just take the time to deliberately breathe, focus yourself, center yourself, ground yourself. Now things seem a lot clearer. You're not as agitated as you were before. You could see and plan things out a lot better than you could have before then you weren't breathing. <sighs> Inhale, exhale. That's all I got. If you want to check out the rest of my content and productions, and even my shop, my store online, go to my website, www.brooklynbaritone.com. You can also check out the rest of my video content on YouTube, Brooklyn Baritone. I am also found on LinkedIn under Corey Ash. You can find me on Instagram. You could also find me on Facebook. You could also hear my audio podcasts on Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, and Amazon Podcasts. So it's under Amazon Music. I also broadcast on local Brooklyn cable television four times a week. Tuesdays and Thursdays, 12 a.m. midnight and 2 p.m. of those respective days. I come on the channels or the service providers, Verizon, Optimum, Spectrum, and RCN. Thank you guys for listening. I want you guys to be blessed. Breathe. Breathe. We'll hear from you next week. I'm out.